Hi everyone, Scott here with another video and today I want to show you uh, how to run the Windows version of Dragon, Dragon Naturally Speaking, right on your Mac. Now, why would you want to do this? Um, I do mention it in the book. Well, in a nutshell, because uh, of the two versions of the program, uh, Dragon Naturally Speaking for Windows and Dragon for Mac version 5, the Windows version is, in my opinion, a significantly better piece of software. Um, now, I have Dragon for Mac running down here, so I'm not averse to using it. But, you know, I've got that updated to the very latest version, 505, I think it is. And it's still buggy. It still crashes way too much, way more than it should. Um, it's in Word, if you use it in, in the Mac version of Word, it's completely unstable. It seems to crash Word pretty much every time you use it. So you're stuck dictating into text edit, which is fine. Uh, but, you know, if you're going to just dictate into text edit and copy and paste into whatever else, then I don't see why you wouldn't just use this instead, because this is a better version of the program. Um, this would enable you to dictate into Notepad, you then copy and paste into whichever Mac program you want. So there's no real advantage to using Dragon for Mac, um, other than the fact it's running natively. And you obviously will need a system that can support doing this uh, under Windows. Now, but one thing I will say is there are significant advantages, apart from the stability um, to Dragon Naturally Speaking, uh, and the main ones for me are correction. So every time Dragon gets something wrong, you have far, far greater control over your corrections in Dragon Naturally Speaking, and you can improve your uh, profile to a much greater degree than you can in Dragon for the Mac. Now, if you're running Dragon for Mac and getting great results, then fine, go for it. You know, it's completely fine. I'm just saying that there is far more scope here for better accuracy in the long run. And the other thing, uh, and a big one for me, is in uh, Dragon Naturally Speaking, um, when you import a recording, if you want to get into transcription and you import a recording, you can actually uh, correct that recording within Dragon and improve the accuracy of your transcribed files. Now, you can't do that in Dragon for Mac. Uh, the, the transcription option in Dragon for Mac is very limited in that all it will do is you do a little bit of voice training and then it drags in a file and spits it out as a rich text file or a Word document. And that's it. You can't correct it and have Dragon learn from your corrections. So your transcribed recordings in Dragon for Mac can never be as accurate as they can get in here. Uh, you know, they're always going to hit a ceiling uh, accuracy-wise, whereas in uh, Dragon Naturally Speaking, your transcriptions should be just as accurate as uh, when you're dictating through your regular microphone. So how do you do this? Well, it's quite simple. Uh, you can use Boot Camp, which is a free program which comes with every Mac. Uh, but I think the way to go, personally, is to use something called Parallels. And this is what I have running down here. You see it even allows me to put shortcuts to uh, Dragon in Dragon for the PC in my Mac uh, taskbar. Uh, so Parallels is running uh, Windows 10 here in its own little environment. But here's the cool trick that Parallels can do. You can run this just as if it's a regular Mac program. Now, OK, there are still some restrictions, but on the whole, it, it completely changes how you would use this on your Mac. So I'm going to show you that now. You just go up here to the View menu and you enter something called coherence mode and watch this just like magic watch this click that start in coherence and boom look what's up here here's dragon naturally speaking running right on your mac desktop the entire windows environment is effectively hidden completely hidden away and it's now just operating as if it was a regular mac program and i'm going to show you how that works and how it can interact with your native Mac programs. So we're going to do a little bit of dictation here. Wake up. Open Notepad. 
This is a test of Dragon Naturally Speaking Premium version 13 running on a Mac Mini using Parallels Desktop, full stop. Capitalize Premium, capitalize Parallels Desktop. New paragraph. As you can see, comma, accuracy is excellent and the responsiveness of the program is roughly equivalent to how I would expect a native Mac program to operate. Full stop. Correct program. One. Choose one. New paragraph. I'm also going to copy and paste this text into Apple's very own pages word processing software so you can see exactly how integrated this can be in your writing workflow full stop go to sleep okay so I made a couple of changes there but I didn't really need to just wanted to capitalize things um, and change this change program the spell in the program here uh, but there you go. So that's Dragon uh, Premium running on a Mac desktop. Now, I'm going to open up Pages that I have right here. There we are. There's Pages right uh, on the Mac. And look at that. Windows and Mac working side by side in perfect harmony. Who would have thunk it? So um, what we're going to do is copy this over here, just as if this was text edit. Okay. And you can use your voice, um, you don't have to, but I will just to prove it can be done. Wake up, select all, copy that. Go to sleep. There you go. Perfect. Okay. And bear in mind, I had to right click and, and paste over here because this is a Mac program. It won't allow you to say paste that. Um, because obviously Notepad is still a Windows program, I can use my voice to copy it. But there you go, it's a fairly minor shortcoming. Um, also, you could have, instead of doing that, you could have obviously just used Command and V on your keyboard to paste. So, there you go, that's uh, Dragon Naturally Speaking running perfectly on a Mac desktop. What do you need to do this? Not much, really, not, not a powerhouse of a Mac. This is a fairly, you know, normal mid-range Mac. Uh, it's a Mac Mini, 2.6 i5, 8 gigs of RAM. I do have an SSD running on here as my main drive, so, you know, that speeds it up quite a bit. But um, I wouldn't do this with less than 8 gigs, I don't think. I think 4 gigs is pushing it. Uh, but, yeah, there you go. It works perfectly, and it means you can have the absolute best version of Dragon running knit happily on your Mac if you want. So I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.